Short codes are a very powerful way to add dynamic functionality to your pages, posts, widgets, and what have you. So let's take a look at how we can use them within Live Canvas. Here I've inserted a gravity form into a Live Canvas page, and I'm gonna show you three different ways to do that. But first, let's look at the documentation. If you need more information about this, you might just Google short codes WordPress. You'll probably find the wordpress.org codex where it explains sort of the basics that you can have a short code in this square bracket notation and you can add some parameters to it. The other thing you might wanna look at is Live Canvas comes with a bunch of short codes that are already working. I'll show you an example of one. If you go into your settings and enable Live Canvas to manage your header, this is the default header and you'll see it has two short codes in it. One LC nav menu, and you can see it's getting theme location primary, gives you the option to add some classes. And that's adding this navigation here. That is the short code. If I click that, now I can edit the short code right here. And of course, that's just going and getting the menu here from appearance menus, the one that's called primary. Um, the other short code that we see in there, command E to bring up that code editor, is the link on the logo here, which is linking to LC home URL. And so nav menu and home URL, those are just both here in the documentation. If you click on one, it'll show you some more of the parameters and things that you might need to make it do exactly what you want. But Live Canvas isn't the only plugin that comes with short codes. So let's take a look at Gravity Forms just as an example of one. If you search for your plugin plus short codes, you'll probably just find its documentation page. So here on the Gravity Form, uh, documentation, I'm seeing their short code and all the different parameters they have, like show the title of the form or not, show the description or not. And in this pane of my browser, I can see, I could just click this embed button and there's just a button here, copy the short code. And now there's three different ways that I can insert this into my page. The first thing that I could do would just be to add it to my page directly. So I'm gonna click add a section, which my picture is covering. And uh, I'll just do grid builder, build a two column. And for a block, I'm gonna go into WordPress integration and choose short code. So I'm gonna click on I'm a dummy short code and I'm gonna just replace that with my gravity form. And when I click out of it, it renders the form. It doesn't seem to get the CSS out of gravity forms, which is okay. As soon as I save that and visit it on the front end, I'll see the form the way that it is. But first I wanna show you another way to, to insert this. I'm going to go into Live Canvas's block editor and I created a block here called my cool form block. I just added my own div here. So this block is gonna come with a wrapper around the form. It's adding a padding, it's adding a background of dark and text white and some spacing under it. And there I've pasted my gravity form uh, short code. And check it out, there's a short code over here on the side. Uh, if I copy paste this anywhere on the site, it'll include this whole block. And now there's two ways to insert that. You can see right here, I've just copy pasted that block short code, and there it is. But the other way to do it is I could just click choose block, your custom blocks and insert it this way. And so I'll hit save and we'll visit the front end. And when I hit refresh, you can see the same form is here three times. We wouldn't actually do that, but I wanna show you the important difference between these three. Okay, so check this out. Now imagine that I wanted to change the background from dark to primary. So I'll just hit update on that. And when I go back to the front end and hit refresh, so check it out. It updated where I used the short code. It did not update it where we inserted it as a block. And that wrapping CSS class was not on the gravity form short code. This is an important distinction. And there will be times where you may wanna use it each way. If you insert your block with a short code, you can update it across your site by just editing this instance. However, if you take your block and you insert it uh, just as a block through that sidebar, then it is a one-off instance that you can customize and not have to worry about it being affected by this. There'll be times where you want it one way and times where you'll want it another. I also just think it's really great to have a short code that has a short code within it because I like recursion. Now here's the big gotcha. If I deactivate gravity forms now and then visit this on the front end, when I hit refresh, I will see the gravity form short code is there and it's not doing anything. That's because this short code is calling upon the plugin itself. So 
just keep that in mind. You're going to want to keep your plugin active. The last thing I wanted to mention is that on your block editor, it told you how you could use your shortcode in a PHP template using this do shortcode thing. <laughs> when I go to the codex here, you can see some examples of using this in my code editor. I had one all set up here for you where, you know, uh, PHP echo do shortcode, and there is a shortcode in action. So that's pretty powerful. We've had short codes for quite a while, but Live Canvas makes them easier to use than ever. If you want to learn more about Live Canvas, check out our Discord linked in the description below.